Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a technique video and it's to create these two cards. Now the image was inked up using sponge daubers and then stamped down. This was done in exactly the same way but after stamping the first panel I spritzed the stamp with water and then stamped again to create the second panel. I recently created a video showing you how to create these two cards. Now this was using a technique called Baby Wipe Ink Pad. Now I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen to the video in case you're interested. Now when you create a Baby Wipe Ink Pad you can use it to create many cards, a dozen or more, depending on what you're going to do. When you ink up a stamp using sponge daubers, you can only create two, maybe three panels before you need to ink up again. So this is a quicker technique, but it gives you the same sort of look as you get with a baby wipe ink pad. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. This is the soft seedling stamp set and I'm using the main image today together with the hello sentiment. The ink pads I'm using are evening evergreen, pear pizzazz, pumpkin pie and real red. I'm using a separate sponge dauber for each of the colours. I'm going to start with Evening Evergreen ink. So I'm picking up the colour with the sponge dauber and then I'm just applying it to the stems and the bottom of the seeds and the leaves. Then I'll switch to Pear Pizzazz, again pick up the ink and then go just above, this will be applied just above the evening evergreen and I will go over the evening evergreen to blend it slightly. Next is real red. Now this is the main colour I want to use because my base card is going to be in real red. So I want more of this than any other colour. And again I'm overlapping the colours to help blend them together just slightly where they meet. Then I'll finish off the leaves, the leaf and the seeds using pumpkin pie, but I will go back afterwards and add a little more cherry cobbler just to make sure that's the prominent colour still. I have a basic white mat for each of the cards that I'm going to create. Now I want to stamp the leaf in the middle of these. But by the time I get round to stamping my first one, the ink would have already started to dry, so I need to reactivate it. And I can do that just by huffing or breathing on the stamp. Then I'm going to stamp my image right in the centre of the basic white mat. And that's my first panel complete. Now, instead of reactivating the ink using my breath this time, I'm going to lightly spritz using a very fine mister of water. And again, I want to stamp this dead centre of the basic white mat. And that's my second panel complete. The sentiment will be stamped using real red ink onto a scrap of basic white and I'm only stamping one because I've already got the other one ready. This will be die cut using one of the stylish shape styes and it's the second size up circle. I'll only be showing you how to put together one of these cards so if you're making both you need to double up on everything. Now I've got an evening evergreen mat for the front of the card and I'm going to die cut it using a couple of the framed florets dies. I'm going to die cut this panel right in the centre. I'll position the heart oval first of all. 
Now you want to make sure that you've got a single heart at the top and then you've got two hearts at the bottom going through the centre um, of the card. Now you can mark your part card out with pencil if you prefer to do that. I'm doing it just by eye. Now I am going to measure the top and the bottom border to make sure that they look the same and mine were okay. And then I can place the inner oval which will actually cut the aperture. Now I don't think my die was quite centralled across so I'm just making sure the side borders also look about the same size and then I can position the centre die. Now you want to ensure that the gap around this die is or looks even all the way round. Then I'm just securing it with a low tack tape. Then I'll run this through my die cutting machine. You only need to keep the outside portion of this for your card. The two centre pieces can be used on another project. Now your stamped panel should fit perfectly within the oval that you've just die cut and you should have a white border all the way round. Now, if you haven't quite die cut or um, stamped this centrally, then um, you don't need to start again. You can still use this image, just cut it down so it covers the hearts and the inner oval and stick it to the back of the evening evergreen mat and then cut another piece, white mat of the same size and back it with that. Okay, so if you haven't stamped it centrally, don't worry, you can still use your panel. Now, before you do position your stamp panel on the back of the evening evergreen one, you want to emboss it. And I'm using the Leaf Fall uh, 3D embossing folder. Now, this is a beautiful folder and it will give you leaf impressions on the top left and the bottom of the card leaving that top right corner clear. And this is how it looks. It's very pretty. My card base is in real red, and this is half a standard sheet of card, scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. For inside the card, I have a basic white mat, and I'm going to decorate the bottom of it with a strip of evening evergreen onto which I'm going to add a narrower strip of evening evergreen designer series paper. Then I have my embossed and die cut panel which I'm going to layer onto my stamped panel. And then I have my sentiment and I've added dimensionals onto the back of that.
And that's my card complete. It's very quick to put together. Now I have done the second card as well in exactly the same way. And then here's another look at my original cards. The card base colour I use for these two is pumpkin pie. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.